Hi, welcome back. My name is Marissa Martin. This is my second of two videos looking at some more basic and fundamental elements of the yoga asana practice, so the physical practice of yoga. In the first video, we spent some time breaking down postures like mountain pose and down dog. We took a look at warrior two and triangle and tree pose. So if you're looking to gain some more information about those postures, you might check out that video first. Today we're going to expand on that. We're going to review a little bit. We'll keep going forward. And I also want to give us a chance to look at transitioning in between poses so that it's not just about getting into postures and staying there but being able to move in between them with a little bit more fluidity and a little bit more ease. And that can take some practice. So I hope to offer some information to help you practice that today. Um, as always, please listen to your own body. If you are feeling any sense of pain or feeling like some place is unsafe for you, Please listen to that. We're all working with different circumstances and different considerations. And since I can't be there with you uh, in person, trust yourself. And if you need to back off or modify or rest, do so whenever you need. So we'll get started. We're going to start today in child's pose. And you do not need any props. If you have blocks at home, you're welcome to have them handy. You might want to use them. But I'm going to teach without props, so you're okay if not. So you'll come to the middle of your mat. Join your big toes to touch. And then separate your knees about as wide as the mat. As you're ready, you'll start to send your hips back towards your heels, just as far as feels comfortable for you. And then you'll walk the hands forward. And if you can, lay your forehead down to the mat. Start here by feeling that there is a ground that's underneath your body. And allow the parts of your body that are on the ground to become heavier. And then begin to become aware of your breath. So allow your inhales to come in through the nose and feel how they expand the rib cage, front sides and back. And then allow the exhales to soften and let the rib cage draw back in towards center. Inhale through your nose. This time open the mouth with sound. Exhale. And again like this, breathe in. Open the mouth, breathe out. Lift your head here and rise up onto hands and knees, tabletop. So walk your hands so they're right underneath your shoulders and then parallel your shins so your knees are right underneath the hips. Again, take a peek down at the hands. See that your fingers are spread wide and have even spaces of mat between all of them. And turn your index fingers to face straight towards the front of the mat so they run parallel to one another. Tuck your toes here. On an inhale, cow pose. Drop the low belly. Lift the sitting bones and chest. You can look forward or even up. Point the feet. Exhale, cat pose. Round the spine. Chin to chest. Press the ground away from your hands. Back and forth with the breath. Tuck toes. Inhale, cow pose. Drop the belly. Lift sitting bones and chest. Point the feet. Round the spine. Widen the back. Again, tuck toes, inhale, cow pose. Arch the spine and open up. And then point the feet, round the spine and widen the entire back. Take a few more rounds like this on your own breath. And again, start to tap into the feeling of how the breath moves the body. 
so that your inhales are a chance to expand and the exhales are a chance to draw in. And as you take a few more rounds, I want you to start to notice the feeling of moving in between cat and cow. So you might notice if the movement starts at your low back, your middle back, your upper back. And just take the time to feel that you're not only in cow pose or cat pose, but that there's a transition between the two. And then we'll meet center. So you're not rounded or arched, but you're right in between a fairly neutral spine. And start here to draw the low belly back towards your spine and up towards your heart. We're going to send the right leg along back here. Tuck your toes onto the mat first and then lift your foot just about to the height of your hip. Feel your right pinky toe is wrapping down. Take an inhale here. Reach from your back heel forward through the chest. Then as you exhale, round the spine like cat pose. Try to touch your knee to your chest. It might not make it very far, that's okay. Inhale to extend, reach your right heel back, your heart forward through the arms. Exhale, round the spine, knee to chest. Again, inhale to extend. Exhale to round. One more like this, inhale, extend. Exhale, round knee towards chest. Now re-extend your leg. Return your toes to the mat. We're going to take this into a modified side plank. So you'll spin your entire right foot down to the mat. Adjust your left shin a little further out to the left. Heavy your left palm down and reach the right arm straight up towards the ceiling. You want to feel that your left wrist is right underneath your left shoulder and your left shoulder blade connects to the back here. Make a fist with your top hand and circle your wrists a few times each direction. And then extend through the fingers. Reach the right arm up and over the ear. Turn your palm to face the ground and feel that as your right heel reaches back, your right fingertips reach in the opposite direction towards the front of your mat. Take one more breath in. And then return your right hand down, your right knee down, parallel your shins, back to tabletop. Now send your left leg long back, tuck your toes first, and lift your foot just to the height of the hip. Feel your left pinky toe wrapping down towards the ground. Inhale here, reach your left heel back, your heart forward in opposition. As you exhale, round the spine, try to touch knee to chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale to round. Again, start to draw the low belly in and up. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round. Once more, inhale to extend. Exhale, round, knee to chest. Send your left leg back. Tuck your toes onto the mat and then spin your entire left foot to the ground. Adjust your right shin back to the right a little bit. Right hand right underneath your shoulders. You reach the left arm up, modified side plank. Again, feel your right shoulder blade connect to the back. Make a fist with your top hand. Take a few circles through your wrist each direction. And then you'll extend through the fingers. Reach the left arm up and over the ear. Turn your palm to face the ground. And feel that as your left heel presses down and back, your left fingertips reach forward. Take another breath in. Then lower your left hand down, your left knee down. Again, join your big toes to touch wide in your knees, child's pose. This time we're going to have the arms back alongside the body, backs of the hands to the ground, palms face up, and they might be right outside of your heels here. Again, see if you can allow the forehead to rest to the ground. That might mean that your hips are a little bit higher away from your heels. It's a nice way to modify. Take a couple of breaths here. Return the mind to the breath. If it wandered away. For one more inhale. And a full breath out. 
Now extend your arms forward. And before you come up, find down dog in your arms. So you might peek forward. See again the spread of your hands. Your arms are shoulder width apart. And the pointer fingers are straight towards the front of the mat. Now allow your inner elbows to start to spin up towards the ceiling. Fill a breath in. Feel as though your elbows reach away from your shoulders towards your wrists. And a smooth breath out. Look up, keep these arms. Rise up, hands and knees. Parallel your shins so your knees are underneath the hips. And then we'll tuck toes and start to lift the hips back and up, downward facing dog. Take your time. You can take a little pedal of your legs like you're walking in place. Bend one knee and then the other. As you look back, see that your feet are about hip width distance apart and all 10 of your toes are pointing towards the front of your mat as best you can. Lift the whole top of your leg back and up, back and up as the inner elbows start to spin up towards the ceiling. Take another breath in and a full breath out. Lift your heels up, bend the knees and look forward. Take your time, walk feet to hands, step by step. And again, if you get to a point where you can't walk them any further forward, you can walk your hands back to meet your feet. Now bend the knees enough that you can bring two fists in between the inner arches of your feet, fully on the ground. And if you can do that with straight legs, then take a little bend in your knees anyway for now. Grab opposite elbows overhead like you're making a picture frame for your face and allow the crown of the head to descend. Maybe you take a sway side to side with your torso. You can shake the head a no and not a yes. Switch the cross of your elbows so the other one is on top. And as you take a couple more breaths here, see if you can soften the muscles on your face like you let go of any expression you're holding. Soften around the jaw, the tongue. And then release your hands down and bend the knees here. Half lift, draw the fingertips up the shins, bring your torso about parallel to the ground. Bring the hands to the hips and then wrap the elbows back. On an inhale, press into the feet, lead with your chest all the way up to stand. If you're not at the top of the mat, go ahead and walk your feet forward. Bring the arms to your sides. Take an inhale here, shrug the shoulders up by the ears. And then allow the shoulder blades to soften on the back and think as though the fingertips and wrists grow a little bit heavier here. So as you start to hug your shoulder blades on the back, feel that that supports a nice open chest. Lift your toes and see if you can find the four corners of your feet that we talked about last time. So that's the inner and outer heel of your foot and the inner and outer ball of your foot pressing down evenly through both feet. You can spread the toes out and then feel the energy of your kneecaps lift up the front of your thighs to the fronts of the hips. And then maybe you close the eyes and once again feel that there is ground underneath your feet and breath inside of the body. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Blink the eyes open, reach your arms forward and up, lift up the sides of the waist and the wrist. Press the palms here, bend the knees. Palms through prayers, you send the hips back and the heart forward, release the hands and the head down. Half lift, fingertips up the shins, lengthen the sides of your waist out of the hips here, and then fold back down. Place your palms down, walk the feet back to a downward facing dog. On your inhale, lengthen forward plank pose, shoulders over wrists, head looks out, so like the top of a push-up. 
lift the hips back and up, down dog. Maybe you decide to take a bend in your knees if your hamstrings or low back feel a little bit tight. Twice more like this. Inhale, plank pose, lengthen forward. Exhale, lift the hips back and up, downward facing dog. Once more, inhale to lengthen forward. Exhale, lift the hips back and up. Now lift your heels, bend the knees and look forward. Walk feet to hands, top of mat. Feet hip width distance apart again. Half lift, maybe you decide to keep the legs a little bit longer this time if that feels okay for you. Exhale, fold back down and release. Reach the arms forward and up. Come all the way up to stand. Your legs will straighten last as you reach up. And then reach the arms forward and down, mountain pose. We'll take this again. Inhale, lift the arms forward and up. Follow your breath. Press the palms through prayer. Bend the knees. Send the hips back, heart forward. Release at the bottom to fold. Maybe you start to lift your kneecaps up towards your hips. Inhale, half lift, waist out of hips. Exhale, fold down. Place palms down, spread your fingers out and walk back, downward facing dog. Shift forward, plank pose, breathe in. If you need to, you can adjust your feet. Exhale, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Plank pose, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out. Plank pose, inhale, head lifts out. Downward facing dog, exhale. Lift the heels, bend the knees, look forward. You can walk or maybe you take two steps, feet to hand. You can try it out. Half lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold and release down. Rise up, press the feet down, lift the arms forward and up. Pick up the sides of the waist and look forward. Reach your arms forward and down, back to the beginning. Once more, inhale, reach the arms forward and up. This is Urdhva Hastasana, upward hands. Press the palms and fold down, hips back, heart forward. So you fold with a nice long spine and a crease at the hips. Inhale, half lift, fingertips up the shins, waist out of the hips. Exhale, fold down. Place your hands down, walk back, downward facing dog. Come forward, plank pose, inhale. And this time we're gonna stay and hold plank. So something I see a lot is letting the hips drop down. So I want you to think that you resist gravity with your entire body like you're trying to press the ground away from your hands here. Take two more breaths, you guys got this. If it feels shaky, keep smoothing out your breath. One more in. And then knees down, child's pose, hips to heels. Some options in child's pose, you can turn now the palms to face up and feel the backs of your hands pressed down if that feels nice on your wrists. You could also decide to leave the arms back as we did just a few minutes ago. Smooth out your breath. Whenever you remember, return your mind to the feeling of breathing, which is really what this practice is all about. One more here. Full exhale. Reach your arms forward and rise up to hands and knees. I'm gonna turn to face you. We're gonna take a little exercise here. So you're going to, again, make sure that your hands are right under your shoulders, your knees are right underneath the hips. And I want you to think here that your front two hip bones are drawing a little closer together around the front of your body, like you were tying a nice tight sash around it. And it takes a little while to find that feeling, so if you don't find it right away, just keep looking for it. We'll take a breath in here. As you exhale, bend your elbows out to the sides like you're making a diamond shape with the arms and then wrap your elbows in and back towards each other like they could touch the sides of your ribs. Press your hands into the ground and straighten the arms. So we're gonna take that pattern several times. 
So inhale where you are. As you exhale, elbows out to the sides and then wrap them in and back. Press the hands into the ground and straighten out the arms. Go ahead and take this a few times. So elbows out to the sides, wrap them in and back. Almost like you're sending the ground away from the hands, straighten out the arms. And I want you, as you do this, to feel like you can keep your torso pretty still the entire time. So there's no sort of like dipping down or anything of the torso. See if you can find almost like a plank pose in, yeah, your torso area here. Let's take one more round. And just notice what the feeling is of wrapping your elbows in and back. Maybe you notice it around the upper arm bones. And then go ahead and straighten out the arms. Tuck your toes. Walk your hands a handprint forward of where they are and then lift the hips back and up, downward facing dog. We're gonna take three breaths here. Breathe in. Breathe out one. If your legs are straight, lift your kneecaps up towards the hips. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Steady breath. Inhale. Exhale three. Lift your heels. Bend the knees, look forward. You can walk step or even take a couple hops to the top of the mat. Land with your feet hip width apart. Half lift, inhale, lengthen the waist out of the hips. Exhale, fold down and let it go. Press into the feet, come all the way up to stand. Reach your arms up, grow taller at the sides of the waist. Reach the arms forward and down, mountain pose, Tadasana. Now join your legs together to touch today. And think again as though there's a zipper of your legs together and up. As we did last video, interlace the fingers in front of the chest, flip your palms and then reach the arms forward and up. Take an inhale here, lift up the waist, lift up through the wrists, then a side bend up and over to your right. I'll be your mirror here. Return through center, inhale. Exhale, reach up and over to your left. Return through center, keep the arms lifted. Chair pose, bend the knees, send the hips back. So I want you to feel here that your knees are more over your heels than they are your toes. So feel that there's some weight in the heels and continue to lift up the sides of your waist. Take one more breath in and then mountain pose as you breathe out. We'll come back to chair pose. This time we'll lift the arms forward and up and then exhale hands down Fold forward, maybe you extend the legs and release the head down. Inhale, half lift, look out. We're gonna walk back to a plank pose. So hands down, walk your feet back and find right away that top of a push-up position. Lower your knees down here and untuck the toes. Okay, take a moment and actually just take a look at your screen. I'm gonna demonstrate what we're gonna do. So recall this wrap of your elbows in and back as you bend them. I'm gonna lift my head to look out and prepare to lower all the way down to the belly. So I'm gonna find that same bend of the elbows as they wrap in and back. And like I'm taking an elevator down, one piece down. So I touch my chest, my belly, and my hips all at the same time. Let's try it together. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, go slow, almost like you're resisting the ground, elbows hugging in back, one line down. And then when you're at the bottom, you can release for a moment. Maybe you shake your hips from side to side, if that feels nice on your low back. Now, if your hands are right underneath your shoulders, you're gonna walk them back so they're closer beside your low ribs. Hug the elbows in and back and feel as though your elbows can reach away from your shoulders here. Now feel the fronts of your shoulders also lift away from the mat. Press the tops of your feet down. Inhale, lift your head and your chest. This is low cobra. As you exhale, you're gonna lower forward and down. 
So we'll take this twice more with the breath. As you inhale, reach the chest forward, up and back. Exhale to lower it back down. One more time, low cobra, breathe in. We're gonna stay for three breaths. So again and again, feel the elbows hug in and back towards each other and the fronts of your shoulders lift away from the back. Take one more breath here in and then lower down as you breathe out. Okay, come back to your cobra. This is gonna be a little tricky, but we'll practice it a few times. I'm gonna press the ground away from my hands and rise back up to hands and knees. So I need to bend my knees as I lift up. Tuck your toes. Send your hips back towards your heels as though you're moving towards child's pose. And then lift the hips back and up, downward facing dog. Come forward to a plank pose, breathe in. We're gonna try all of this again. Lower your knees down, untuck the toes. Head looks out, inhale. And like I'm finding cobra in the chest and the arms, I'm gonna bend the elbows in and back. Keep a nice open chest as you lower all the way to the ground. I promise that gets easier with time and practice. Point your feet, lift your chest, low cobra. This time we're gonna stay and lift the hands one inch away from the ground. So continue to press the tops of your feet down. Find a little lift of the low belly away from the ground. And as the elbows hug in and back, Feel the fronts of your shoulders are lifting away from the ground. We have one more breath here in, and then lower down, breathe out. Rise back up, low cobra. Same transition, bend the knees, press the ground away from the hands, and rise back up. Tuck toes, lift hips, downward facing dog. Let's take a full breath in here through the nose. And then a sigh out the mouth as you exhale. Lift the heels. Bend the knees and look forward. You can walk step or take a few hops, feet to hands. At the top of your mat, feet hip width. Take a half lift, lengthen waist out of hips. Think cobra in your chest here. And then lower back down, exhale. Come straight up through a chair pose. Bend the knees, sit your hips back. We'll take it with feet wide now, hips back, arms up. And then mountain pose, straighten the legs, arms by your sides. Again, join the feet to touch. Interlace the fingers and then switch so you have the opposite interlace. Um, so your opposite pinky is loose on the bottom. Flip your palms, reach the arms forward and up. Inhale, press into the feet, zip energy up the legs, up the torso, side bend to the left. Return through center, inhale. Exhale up and over to the right. Center, breathe in. Chair pose, bend the knees, sit the hips back. Again, think of drawing your legs now together and up. And feel that your knees are more over your heels than they are over your toes. So you should be able to pick your toes up away from the mat here. Take one more breath. And then straighten the legs, release the arms down by your sides. Chair pose, bend the knees, sit the hips back, reach the arms up. And then we'll reach forward and down to fold. You can extend the legs any amount that feels okay for you. Release your head down. Okay, separate your feet hip width distance apart again. That's that measure of two fists in between the inner arches of your feet. Bend the knees enough that you can tent the fingertips so you make little tents with your hands underneath your shoulders. Lift your head and look out. I'm gonna keep my right foot forward. Step your left foot as long back as you can. This is a low lunge. I'm gonna spin that left foot to the ground like we did for a modified side plank. So that whole left foot is on the ground and then circle the arms up, warrior two. Now you might need to adjust your feet, so go ahead and do that if you need to. Couple reminders in warrior two. two. 
right knee is no further forward than your right ankle. If it is, just back off a little bit. It might mean you, mean you need to step your left foot a little further back. And as I look down, my right knee should be on the outside of my right big toe, like it's moving towards the pinky toe edge side of my foot. Shoulders are right over the hips, so no surfing forward. Keep your shoulders right above the hips. Now straighten the legs here. Today we'll reach the arms up. If you'd like, you can touch your palms together and maybe you even look up. Come back to warrior two as you exhale. Bend the right knee, reach the arms. Maybe you look over your front fingers. Follow your breath. Press into the feet, straighten the legs, lift the arms. Exhale, warrior two, bend the knee and open up. One more time, inhale to rise. Exhale, warrior two, stay for a breath. Reach your arms away from one another and feel that your back foot is pressing down and back into the ground. Now flip your right palm to face the ceiling, lay your left hand on your left thigh. Reach your right arm up and lift the sides of your waist up. Take a breath in, we call this reverse warrior. And then straighten your right leg as you continue to reach up, reverse triangle. Come back to an upright torso, reach your arms and toe heel the left foot a little bit closer in. Toes point in, heel points out on that left foot. Pick up the sides of your waist, breathe in. And then start to cut your right hip back towards your left thigh as you reach way forward, long sides of the waist. Lay your right hand down, reach the left arm up, triangle pose. Just a couple breaths here. Feel again like your arms could reach away from one another and look wherever is comfortable for your neck. Continue to press the feet down, zip the inner thighs up into the pelvis. One more breath here. Now listen well, you're gonna bend the right knee and come back to that low lunge. So right hand outside of the right foot, left hand inside. Spin your back heel up. Downward facing dog from here. Step your right foot back, press your palms down. We're gonna practice that transition again. So come forward, plank pose as you breathe in. Lower your knees down, untuck the toes. Inhale, head looks out. Start to bend the elbows in and back like you're resisting gravity, one line down to the belly. Point your feet, slide your chest forward and up, low cobra. Lower back down as you exhale. Inhale, low cobra. Come back to hands and knees, press the ground away. Bend your knees, tuck your toes. Send the hips back and then up, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. And we're going to lift the right leg away from the mat. Reach it back and up behind you. Like we did in tabletop in the beginning. Flex your foot and turn your right toes down to face the ground. So now you can see them behind you. See all five toes pointing towards the ground. As you inhale, lift your leg maybe just a little bit higher. As you exhale, start to draw your knee in towards your chest, look forward, and step your right foot as close to your right thumb as it will go. Now, it might not make it very far. So if that's the case, you're gonna bring your right hand behind your right calf or your ankle and help it forward with as many steps as you need. Lift to your fingertips, lift your chest and look out. Bend your left knee and spring off that leg to step the left foot to the top of the mat. Half lift, breathe in, exhale, fold. Rise up through long legs this time, reach the arms forward and up, inhale. And then arms to your sides, mountain pulse. So we're gonna take all of that on the second side. I'm gonna flip which way I'm facing so I can still face the camera as we move. You can stay as you are. Inhale, we'll reach the arms forward and up from here. Exhale, bend the knees, hips back, heart forward, release your hands and head down. 
So the feet are hip width, bend your knees, rise to your fingertips, little tense with the hands as you look out. Keep the left leg forward and step your right foot long back to the back of the mat. Now spin your entire back foot down so it's flush with the mat. Circle the arms up to warrior two and go ahead and adjust your stance as you need. So left knee no further forward than your left heel. It can be behind it, that's okay. Left knee tracks towards the pinky toe edge side of your left foot. And shoulders are right on top, top of hips. Take a breath in. Breath out. We have three times straight in the legs. Lift the arms. Maybe you touch your palms together here and look up. Exhale, re-bend, warrior two. Maybe you look forward. Inhale, rise up with the breath. Exhale, warrior two. Take up space here. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, warrior two. Stay for a breath in. And a breath out. Turn your left palm to face the ceiling. Lay your right hand to your right thigh. Reach the left arm up and think as though the left wrist pulls up the left side of the waist. So you're making space for one more breath and then straighten your left leg reverse triangle. Upright your spine, tee the arms, toe heel your right foot a little closer to the left and the right toes are in just a little bit, right heel out. Press into the feet, lift up the sides of your waist, and then start to scoop your left hip back towards your inner right thigh. Lay your left hand down, right arm up. Triangle pose. Good, so like we found in modified side plank, feel your left shoulder blade is on the back, and as though your arms could reach away from one another here. Two more breaths, feet press down, inner thighs zip up into the pelvis. One more, feel your inhale and feel your breath out. Look down. We're gonna come back to that low lunge. So bend your left knee, circle your right hand down inside of the left foot, left hand down outside of left foot, spin off your back heel. This can be tricky, hands down, step back, downward facing dog. Take a breath. And then we'll practice this transition again. So inhale forward to a plank pose. This is sometimes called a vinyasa. Exhale to lower the knees, untuck the toes. Low belly in and up as the head looks out, breathe in. And then wrap your elbows in and back. Keep the fronts of your shoulders lifting as you lower all the way down. Point your feet, lift your chest forward, up and back, low cobra here. Lower down, exhale. Come back to low cobra, breathe in. Press the ground away from your hands up to hands and knees. Tuck toes, lift hips back and up, downward facing dog. Hopefully that's feeling a little bit easier, a little more familiar. From here, lift your left leg off the ground, send it back and up behind you. Flex your foot and see all five of your left toes wrapping down towards the mat. Take a breath in, maybe lift your leg just a little bit higher. And then start to draw your knee in towards your chest, look forward. And bring your foot as close to the left thumb as it will go. Maybe you bring your left hand behind your left calf or ankle and help it forward a couple of steps. Rise to your fingertops, look out, lift your chest. Bend your right knee and spring off the back foot, step to the top of the mat, feet hip width distance apart. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, fold, let it go. Rise up to stand. Reach your arms forward and up, inhale. And then reach the arms forward and down as you exhale. Take a breath here, you can Shrug your shoulders up by your ears. You can shake off anything you need to shake off. And then again, we'll join the legs to touch hands to the waist. We'll take a little tree pose practice. 
Lift your right heel away from the ground. Turn your right knee out and feel that by doing so that doesn't swing your left hip forward and your right hip back, but rather your hip points stay about facing forward here. Draw that low belly in and up as though you had that sash on. You can stay here, you can lift your foot to your inner calf or inner thigh, it's up to you, just as long as you're not on your knee joint. I'm gonna go to my calf today. You can press your palms if you'd like and feel as though that entire left side is in mountain pose. Find a spot to look eye level in front of you that's not moving and then reach your eyes through that spot. You can stay here or if you'd like, you can lift your arms up. And if you're doing that again, feel the wrists are lifting up towards the ceiling so you're both heavy in that bottom foot but light in the torso. Fill one more breath in. Breath out, palms through prayer, mountain pulse. Hands to waist. Lift the left heel, left ankle, excuse me, left heel over right ankle. And again, be careful that your hips didn't swing back, but they're still facing forward. You can stay here, foot to inner calf or inner thigh, up to you. If you'd like, you can press your palms and find mountain pose on that right side of the body. So again and again, your foot presses down, everything else lifts up. Find a spot for your eyes and let the eyes be steady and soft. If you'd like, you can reach your arms up alongside the ears. Fill another breath in. Full breath out. Press your palms through prayer, mountain pose, two feet down, arms down. Nicely done. We're going to take a last chair pose here. Bend the knees, hips back, arms up, and then fold down. Hands to the ground. You might extend the legs any amount. Release your head down. Half lift as you inhale. And then we'll move back to a downward facing dog. So hands down, you can step or maybe you even take a couple hops with the feet back. You'll take off of and land with bent knees. We'll practice this vinyasa one more time. So as you inhale, shoulders over wrists. Exhale, lower the knees down. And then I'm gonna give you the option. You can keep the knees down or you can lift the legs back up for plank pose and practice lowering with long legs. In that case, you'll shift the shoulders just a little forward of the wrist. I'm still going to look out as I bend my elbows in and back, keep the fronts of the shoulders lifting and lower in one smooth piece. Point your feet, low cobra, breathe in. Lower down as you breathe out. This time you're going to stack one palm on top of the other. Make a pillow for your forehead to rest on. And again, you can shake your hips a couple of times from side to side if that feels like it allows the low back to release. Stay here and fill a breath into your back as though you could fill the back of your body up like a balloon. And as you exhale, let it soften. One more like that. Breath into the back, fill it up, let it expand like a balloon. Exhale, let it soften. From here, we're going to flip over onto our backs. So you can just simply roll over or however you want to get there. On your back. Bend your knees and step your feet to the ground so they're about hip width distance apart. And now you can't quite see it, so you'll have to feel it. Your knees should look like they're pointing straight up towards the ceiling. And you'll feel that your heels are maybe about right underneath your hips or as close to that as possible. If you feel very flexible, you don't want to overdo it. So see if you can look for that sweet spot. Heels. 
Sorry, I said underneath the hips. What I meant was underneath the knees. So heels are underneath your knees here. Arms alongside the body. Palms face down. You're going to press into your feet and lift your hips forward and up away from the mat for a bridge pose. And then exhale to lower your hips back down. So we'll do that again. Press into the feet. Lift your hips forward and up, any amount that feels comfortable for you. And exhale to lower back down. One more time, press into the feet, lift the hips forward and up. And this time we're gonna stay in bridge. So you can allow the arms to be alongside the body. If you'd like, you can also interlace your fingers underneath you. And then rock your upper arm bones a little bit closer together underneath you. So you'll find that same feeling of wrapping your elbows in and back and reaching your elbows away from the shoulders. You're going to take two more breaths. Continue to press the feet down and think of reaching your sitting bones towards the backs of your knees. One more in. If your hands are clasped, release them. Lower your hips down. Walk your feet as wide as the mat. Let the knees fall together to touch. Constructive rest. You can take a hand to your belly and a hand to your chest. You might also cross one elbow over the other and bring your hands either to your shoulders or even to the back if they reach, like you're giving yourself a hug. Allow again for your awareness to notice the ground that holds your body. And there's not much that's constant in our lives, but we can always look for the feeling of ground underneath us and breath inside of us. You have one elbow crossed over the other. Just switch the one that's on top. Take a breath in through the nose. And out the mouth, let it go. One more in. Full exhale. You can, if you have space, reach your arms out into a T in line with the collarbones not bend the elbows any amount find a cactus shape so your fingertips will face more towards your head and then you'll rock your knees right and left like windshield wipers on a car nice and easy right and left right and left and then you'll tip both knees over to the left just as far as feels comfortable for you and stay here. Think of breathing now into the right side of your back. Full breath in. Full breath out. Send your knees up through center and then over to your right. Breathe into the left side of your back. Full breath in. Full breath out. Point your knees up, walk your feet towards each other, reach your arms towards your knees and slip the kneecaps up into your palms. So the weight of the legs falls forward towards your fingers, shins dangle down. If it's nice, you can make some circles with your knees in one direction and then the other. Think of softening and widening the fronts of your hip creases as you move. And you can take a little rock side to side across the back. As you're ready, hug the knees in towards the chest, wrap the arms around the shins, give yourself a nice big hug. Say something kind to yourself here. And then we'll release out into Shavasana. So legs long. A little wider than the hips. 
can either bring the hands to the body where you can feel the breath like your belly or your chest or let them come apart from the body, palms face up. Either close or soften your eyes. And let yourself be held and supported by the ground completely. Let the bones grow a little heavier. And the muscles a little bit softer. And give yourself permission to practice letting go. Nothing else to do or control. Simply allow yourself to be. I invite you to stay here as long as you'd like. I recommend at least five minutes, maybe it's even 10 if you feel you need that today. When you're ready, you'll take some deep, full breaths. And allow the breath to reawaken the body so you can start to wiggle your fingers, your toes. One by one, bend the knees, step your feet to the ground. And reach the arms up alongside the ear like you're taking your first stretch of the morning. Enjoy. Turn gently to one side. And then press your hands into the ground and make your way up to sit in any way that feels comfortable for you in this moment. Maybe it's a cross-legged C or on the shins. You can let the palms rest down on the thighs, either lower or close your eyes completely. And take a few moments here to notice how you feel. Maybe the body feels different. Maybe the mind feels different. And there's no right answer, just allow yourself to notice. Join your palms together in front of the chest if you'd like. And empty all of your air out. Take a last breath in, nice and alive. Fill yourself up, up, up. And then let it all go, exhale. If you'd like, bow your head toward your heart and close by thanking yourself. Namaste. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope this was helpful. I know it's a lot of information and not a lot of time. So continue to practice. Be patient with yourselves and enjoy the process. Um, I hope that I see you again in another video or maybe in person, hopefully sooner rather than later. And take good care. Bye.